Okay, in this uh, quick uh, Python request library, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to save a binary image file from the internet into your um, Google uh, content uh, directory or uh, Google Drive uh, directory, because I'm using the HTTPS colab.research.google.com. It is not uh, local to my machine. So when I save it, I save it in my uh, iDrive. So and here, uh, when I do this one, first I need to uh, just uh, make sure that this page, uh, the uh, JPEG file, it's a valid page. So if I click on it, it is opening this uh, image that I have here, and I'm going to save that one to my local drive. In order to do that one, first I need to uh, get a listing of the files. So if I just say ls minus l here, uh, then I run this command uh, with a bang in front of it, and it says that I already did this work. So let me just remove that file first. I'm going to say rmwahid1.jpg and then uh, also run this command ls minus l after. So this one first remove it, and uh, then it's gonna just do a ls minus l, it should show only sample data. And then that's what uh, that argument is there. So if I just uh, don't have the remove command here, and I just say uh, pwd, pwd, and then do a, a double ampersand or semicolon, that would be showing my uh, that I on the current directory of content, and I'm, I'm just having only a sample data there. And then here I could also replace this one with semicolon; it would work that one. But uh, this is all uh, Linux stuff. I'm not gonna uh, demonstrate Linux anymore. I'm gonna just uh, cover how to do Python request on the uh, using Python request and how you just do uh, basically. Uh, save this one as a binary. So I'm going to do as import a request first. Uh, this is um, uh, already um, a library that is already installed with pep3 on uh, my environment. And then uh, just to double check that this, uh, there, this one succeeded. And then also I could have just done like something like this, say um, pep3 uh, or pep uh, list and then and do a grep minus i um, request. And that, that might also uh, just show without importing it because of this one, it says that, yeah, uh, PEP3 is installed. So that is uh, something there. I'm going to comment that line out, and then I don't need to have that one. And then um, I actually am going to delete it because I don't want you to get confused with um, Linux stuff, I want you to learn uh, Python with the request module. So when I do this one, at this time, I'm going to say a URL um, of the image is going to be uh, this URL. So I'm going to uh, cut and paste uh, these lines here and then just uh, put it in uh, a double quote string. And that's the URL image there. So if I say um, um, print uh, type of the URL image, uh, URL image, that is a string actually uh, is going to say uh, class string. So that's class string that is um, valid also. So I know that I can do that uh, one. R, which is a response, I could call it response also here, but uh, let's name it uh, short, uh, it's much easier to type. I'm gonna say request, which is my module dot get, and then I'm going to put the URL image in directory here. And so I could uh, get it. If I get r.ok for this uh, this one, this image, if it is OK, it says true. And then if I just say r.status code, you can see that one is also giving me a 200, meaning successful. If it was um, redirection, it would be 301. If it was uh, something wrong for one, like for example, let's say I just put something here that doesn't exist, uh, file not found, this would be 404. So since that file is there, the error code is there. If it was 500, obviously it would be server error. Since this uh, URL was valid, I'm going to get 200 here, the status code. And then when I do r.txt here, um, this one will just give me the text uh, uh, file for it. And then r. Um, uh, and then that would just um, do the um, r.txt here. And then r.content would give me the basically the 
uh, binary uh, byte code of it, and starting with the B in the front of it. And if I go all the way up here to the top of this um, data, not this, it's a binary, it is huge. So um, it is just um, uh, really huge. So I don't want to just uh, go for a long time. I'm going to uh, assume that you understand what I'm saying or that a byte, that content is uh, printing in the byte. So at this time, I'm going to say, um, use the R dot. And if I just do like, for example, a, a parent uh, encoding to see what type of encoding it is there, it will print it here with that type of uh, encoding. And that is and there. Let's just uh, do the print on it. If it was text, it would be ASCII um, uh, text. And then uh, let's see what the, for this one, it says none. So the, there's no encoding uh, on this one. And then um, what other methods are available here aside from um, that one? So the cookies, if you want to get the history headers. Headers is really good too, but um, at this time, I'm going to be interested on uh, just um, reading this one and save it into a, a, a file there. So before I do that, save the file, I want to do um, ls minus l on my current directory, and then at the same time, do a pwd and then semicolon. So this one is before and then after this one, when I say with open, I'm going to just give it a name of uh, the file. Let's call it uh, the same thing, or uh, we give it a different name. Say wahid1.jpg, or we could say wahid2.jpg, doesn't matter. I'm gonna just give it the same name. And then this time I'm going to write it in binary format because I'm going to uh, save the file as uh, HTML, I mean, as a JPEG file. So here I'm going to say, um, I need to do uh, as a file descriptor, as file descriptor here, file descriptor, and then this colon as separator. And now I go file descriptor dot write. This time I'm going to say R dot content because org.content is uh, in binary, so it is okay. If you're uh, reading it with the write uh, only, not binary, then you do r.text because it's a text file. Since r.binary is in bytecode, I'm going to save it as that. And then and now, after this one, I'm going to just rerun this command here uh, on line seven, um, which is uh, the uh, context manager of um, file context, uh, context manager of Python already took care of it. So I don't need to write too many lines here. I could just uh, write that and just uh, list it. Notice this one, it just um, checked it on this file and then um, it uh, gave it then that name. So if I just want to say, go ahead, remove the, remove the wahid1.jpg uh, uh, on it, as well as, uh, give this one a new name called Wahid2. Uh, so we uh, prove that, uh, yeah, we're working on it and there. And then uh, so, since this Wahid1 is there, I'm going to just um, remove it. So when we do the listing here, if I just do a listing here, um, and another listing semicolon ls minus l, you can see that basically uh, only in the uh, sample data is there because I removed that one. And then uh, at the same time, Wahid 2 is now uh, created because this listing is there. So uh, as another uh, nice thing that um, Linux provide you, so you could do a double check here, say that if, um, for example, if exists Wahid 2, Wahid2.jpg, then uh, just do, um, uh, Ben slash rm and then wahid2.jpg. So this one will just make sure that that file is gone. And then I'm going to also do a semicolon and then ls minus l. And this one will just double check to if this file is an ordinary file, this dash it will check it, then removes it, then it does a less thing, it will show only sample data, but then the, after that uh, it creates wahid2 afterward. And you can see this is done. So the uh, file, it runs uh, line here, PWD, everything. And then content was just 
by itself with sample data and then that's that. Okay, so um, if I just remove all these lines here um, and just do a, a bang ls minus l and then a pwd, pwd and then um, percent and then ls minus l, this will also just reveal that I have only Wahi2 uh, on the first place and Wahi2 was touched again. So this one, it was so fast that, that the timestamp of that file is not modified there. But if I just uh, do this one, say move wahid2.jpg to wahid1.jpg, and then just uh, create the next one. Now I have two files, one uh, being wahid1 and then the other one wahid2. Notice the timestamp of the two files are different because this open statement read the file as um, binary and um, automatically create this Wahid2 and then Wahid2 um, uh, is there. So every time now, since we, Wahid2 will be created, every time you do, you move uh, the last file into the first file. So almost like uh, creating a um, copy of the previous one as the number one file and then number two and there. So. No, not as the timestamp it changes. So the uh, three, three, eight. <laughs> How fast it is, that's good. Okay, so that was it for this uh, Python session. We uh, showed you a number of uh, Linux command as well. And uh, Python was uh, the request module to read a binary and the binary file was this image. And then we were able to uh, duplicate that file uh, there. Uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Please make sure that you go on mywebuniversity.com and then uh, subscribe to our channel so you get the latest and greatest uh, videos that I post. As I post it, you could, uh, you're welcome to make comments, subscribe to our channel, and then uh, learn from it. Have a nice one. Bye.